Alright, I got my Ollie's Pop Shove It's no front shove it's because I never worked on those. And I also got my kick flips down, but the really one I need help on is front or front side 180. And I can't do a heel flip. Sometimes I can flip the whole board around, sometimes I can't. And it doesn't, I don't know how to connect with the heel flip like I do in a kick flip. But here, I'll, here, I'll show you all my tricks and then I'll go through them. Okay, great. So thanks a lot for sending your video. I really appreciate you making this and putting all this work into it. Cool, so your ollie looks good. Got it leveled out. Looked fine. Shove it looks fine. And let's see what else we got here. Kickflip, alright. You turned a little bit on the kickflip, but that's totally fine. It's not like pre the front side 180 anyways. And the hill flip, all right. Looks like you got the beginnings of the hill flip down just fine. You're flicking it. It's turning all the way. You just got to get your back foot on there. And your front side 180 doesn't actually look that bad. You nearly landed this one. Cool. So I want you to watch your head and shoulders as you do this. Your front arm kind of has like, it looks almost like it's spinning, but it's not quite. And then your back arm is kind of stuck in the same place, and then your head is just very still. So watch your head and the movement of your shoulders. The front side 180 being a very upper body trick is the kind of the place where you're falling down on this one. So you are popping the board up in the air, which is great. I really love to see you getting that in the air. So you're doing a good ollie with it, which is perfect. You are super close to having really, really good front side 180s. So I'm just going to help you tweak this a little bit here. Cool. So I want you to notice as soon as I start talking about my head and shoulders, I cut to a close-up of my feet, which doesn't do us any good. But when I want you to really notice how my head and shoulders and arms turn on this. This is what I want you to practice right here. Just popping and turning and throwing those arms and shoulders and head. You really got to turn your head, arms, and shoulders. So... Practice this right here, which is going to be the motion of the ollie with your front foot while you're turning your head and shoulders. Cool, so you got your ollie down, that's good. Next thing we got to do is throw your head and shoulders in your arm. You got to make sure your head turns in the direction that you want it to go. You can see I basically have my head, shoulders, and arms thrown and turned as I'm popping like it's almost turned all the way before my board even gets into the air. Look at how far my upper body is turned. And then my lower body follows. The way you're doing it is opposite. You're trying to turn your legs and then have your upper body follow, which is not the correct way. It's like a twisty top. You have to turn the upper half of your body, then pop, then your legs will turn and follow with it, and then you can land it. So yeah, just really turn that upper half of your body and then you'll swing those legs around and land perfectly. This trick is not too difficult. If you really have your ollies down, you can get it down well. It's just really having your ollies down where people really get into a problem with this. As well as the same thing you're running into is turning the upper half of your body. Cool, so all these steps and more are gone over in Skateboarding Made Simple. So if any of you guys are practicing the basics just get the video. The thing is you have to practice it correctly the first time. So get the video now.